Okay, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jenica. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Today, I'm going to be doing a Torrid haul. If you're new here, I do these a lot, so uh, maybe you could subscribe if you like these kinds of things. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so not a great angle, but these are the first uh, items. So these pair of pants are originally $69.50 Canadian. I got them for 50% off. Um, I actually like them. They're quite comfy. I think mostly everything I got is in a size 3. These are in a size 3. Um, they, I think they're supposed to be capris. So they basically go like almost full length on me, but that's fine. I'm short. I'm 5'3 and a half for reference. Um, they are nice and roomy. They've got a tie here. Um, got some pockets and I really like the print of them. I'm not sure. Well, sorry, my brazier was showing whatever so the pattern is sort of forgiving here on the fupa but you can still kind of see it so if i were to like untuck this and just wear it like over top or like a regular black t-shirt or a blue t-shirt or something i feel like i'd be a little bit more comfortable um but tucking it in is also an option they are pretty cute um the colors we got going on here are blue and like coral which is very summer vibes um, and they're super comfortable. So I think these are a keep because 70, 70 and 50%. So these are like 35 bucks, which, you know, is not terrible. And I don't have a lot of pants like this that I actually enjoy wearing. Like I mostly just wear leggings. So these are a nice change of pace. And uh, they're similar to the other joggers that I got. So let me know uh, the joggers that I got in like one of my last videos, if y'all seen it, I think from last year or something. So yeah, let me know if you guys like these joggers so i just want to show you the pattern of these more close up because they are cute they're like little leaves and the colors are really nice uh so yeah that's the view from the top because i wasn't sure if you guys could really see it um but they are they're cute right they're cute okay so the next item i got is really just this plain simple t-shirt i probably wouldn't wear it with these pants uh, more so leggings because you can see the tie through them um but this t-shirt is so comfy. This is in a size three. Um, I love the color. This like taupey brown kind of color is like one of my favorites. Um, super soft material. But I also kind of wanted to, I don't want to like flash the titteries, but this is one of the new bras that I got. And I'm telling you, they are everything. So my bra size is a size 48 triple D. I could probably go down to a double D because I'm starting to lose a little bit of weight in my boobs. So I am getting like a little bit of space in the cup. Um, but the bras in spe like specifically that I'm talking about are the back smoothing 360 bras or something. The band is literally like so nice and wide and it comes all the way up. So it really like kind of slims your back fat and the cup um, this one is the t-shirt bra, but I think this is the push-up one. I got one push-up t-shirt bra and another just regular t-shirt bra, and they both fit really, really well. Um, like I said, I do have like a little bit of a gap in the cup, but I had that on my other bra as well, um, which was the same size. So it's just like a, a me issue, not a bra issue. But I'm telling you, like the Back Smoothing 360, if you guys haven't tried these, game changer, okay? And they are so comfortable, like buttery smooth. And I mean, they're not even as expensive as like some of the bras that I get at Pennington's and shit. So I just, I'm telling you, check them out because they are life changing and they are so, like, I just want to feel my boobs all day because of how like nice and like supported I feel. And like my back is like chilling, you know, like normally mama has like rolls on rolls on rolls, but like, it's just like, you can still see like the indentation of like where my bra sits, but it's, it's not even bad, man. Like it's so nice. So yeah, check out the bras, um, but I got a couple t-shirts. So this is the first one. I will show you the next ones. <laughs> okay, so this is the next t-shirt I got. Again, I'm just wearing it with the same pants. I don't know if I would necessarily pair these two together. Probably not, um, but it's like a nice eggplant sort of color. I think it's looking a little bit brighter on camera than what it actually is, but it reminds me of like a dark vampy lipstick, like a true eggplant kind of color um, and this one is a v-neck and I forgot to mention but um, I think all of the t-shirts are $34.50 um, but again I never pay full price for anything I think I got most of them 50% off or they might have been cheaper on clearance but like I never pay full price at Torrid and you shouldn't either so this one is again nice and soft like I just feel like their t-shirts are such good quality like they're nice and soft they fit right they do what I want them to do so 
Okay, so this is the next one that I got. I would definitely wear like an undershirt with it or a lighter color bra because the bra I'm wearing right now is black. So it is a little bit see-through. Like you can just kind of see that this is dark and these are dark. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't necessarily wear it like this. I'd probably wear an undershirt. But again, it's the same um, like cut or type of t-shirt as the brown one that I wore. Size 3, 34, 50. I don't know if I said 39 last time editing me check but they are $34.50 and again never pay full price nice and soft I like the color on this one I have a couple like light pink shirts like this but I feel like the torrid ones are better because they're like nice and long so they can hide everything but then I like to fluff them up so that they're like long but not too long like I don't know what I'm saying but like you don't like you find your t-shirt like I'm just saying like torrid t-shirts are like my jam torrid t-shirts are my t-shirts you know so that's where we're sitting with this one. Nothing exciting, I guess, in the t-shirt department, but I like them. <laughs> okay, so the next item is this spaghetti strap blouse shirt thing. Um, so I love the color on this. It's like a solid navy blue, which I do really like, but I have a lot of their, like, I think it's called swing cami. I'll tell you the, guys the price when I take it off. Um, but it fits sort of weird in the bust and I'm not sure if it's because my bust is too large but there's just like a little bit of weird spacing here like you can't really tell um but also like why is it so far from my bra like I don't know I'd either have to wear like a strapless bra or like a cardigan or something um I don't know man like I like it I love how it's like nice and flowy this again is a size three but it does just kind of bunch ever so slightly you can't really tell it bunches just like a little bit like it's just like a hair too small but just in the bust because the rest like fits nicely um I do think I'll keep this though because I got rid of a lot of my other swing camis and this is a really nice shirt color or sorry this is a really nice color that I don't have already but I can see that it's I don't know it's gonna annoy me because it is bunching a little bit so we'll have to um We'll have to fix that, but I don't know. What do you guys think? It's just basic. Let's see how much it was. I'm naked, but forty-nine fifty Canadian, so fifty bucks, but twenty twenty-five with the discount. So I think it's worth it. I'm just my ah, back's moving, back's moving. So all these outfits, by the way, do not really match the makeup, but that's okay. I like this. A lot more than I thought that I would like I wasn't sure I like these flowy kind of tops but I wasn't sure if I would vibe with it it's it's pretty long like, I don't know if you could tell like I might have been able to size down but then the bust uh, fits like perfectly maybe a tad short um, so yeah no I think this is my correct size but it's definitely like long and flowy but I feel like with leggings or something this would be really nice like leggings and a pair of sandals like it's very kind of like boho vibes I like the blue color um, it's nice and light like this is so comfy and like the material is so soft like I would just like be feeling myself all day um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep this but now I am I like it a lot um, I don't know if I said the price it's 5750 it's like 60 ish dollars but then with the discount like 30 ish dollars like everything just seems cheaper when you do it that way and more worth it because everyone like on my videos is always like girl I don't know how you can spend that much money at Torrid like the shipping and everything into Canada and just like their prices are astronomical but girl you never pay full price don't pay full price I'm telling you don't do it so also I'm sweating fucking buckets it's so hot in my apartment under these lights so don't judge me but I definitely like this not with these pants <laughs> not with these pants but it's cute you know girl I really do not want to continue to try to get these on my fat body. I don't know if it's, no, it's definitely not just because I'm sweating, but I bought these like capri jean things that don't have any waistband. Hold on, let me, let me take them off and show you because these are, nope. <laughs> okay, so we definitely have our first return. I wasn't sure about these. I wanted them to fit. It says crop lean jean high rise. Pull on waistband, no zipper, super skinny leg opening. So these are what they look like. They have no, um, no zipper or buttons or anything. 
so they're nice and stretchy but i think i just got like a size too small i got a size three i probably would have needed a size four um these are for 22 to 24 and i'm normally 24 in their jeans so could just be because i'm sweating but these also aren't nearly as cropped on me as i wanted them to be like these are like full length jeans on me and i wanted them to be crops um to replace kind of what i already have for this i have like a cropped legging that looks like a jean but these feel like jeans like they feel like comfy jeans like stretchy jeans but still they feel thick like jeans which isn't what i really wanted for the summer i wanted them to feel more like leggings but have like a jean print if that makes sense and i kind of thought that that's what they were going to be so they're good in their own right they're just not what i was expecting and they're too small so these are going to go back um but they feel stretchy if you need z if you need jeans like if you want jeans these seem like a good option um maybe size up or try them on in store maybe i'm just you know fatter than i thought but yeah i don't think i told you the price of these either so the price on them is 74.50 so like 75 bucks and even with the discount that's what oh well 75 like almost 40 like in between 35 40 that's not bad at all for a pair of jeans but again not really what i was thinking um and don't pay full price so yeah your girl was too hot so i put up my hair don't mind that um i also changed into some just plain like black capris um for these next few shirts because that was all i had for bottoms other than the swimsuit that i have um so this top i actually really like it i don't have anything that's just yellow like i might have things with like accents of yellow but nothing like this and i quite like it the only thing like it fits right it's a little bit wrinkly right now obviously but i don't know what to do with these strings like oh is that what like am i supposed to tie it like at the neck like is that what we're doing because that kind of makes it like a little little bow peep to me let's see oh fuck i can't even tie hold on is this how we tie i don't normally tie this close to me um i don't i don't know is that like a thing that we're doing like maybe like i don't know i always i also would probably wear this with an undershirt or something i don't like it tied to be honest so like is it an option to just cut them off because like i would just cut them off like if it was like already sewn like this maybe that would be kind of cute but it's not and i don't feel like tying them and being a little bow peep so i don't know you also can see like a little bit of bra here so i don't know do we just do like a lighter bra or we go strapless because like i hate this like what is this or or a cardigan i guess but i don't know about you guys i'm so over like hiding my body i did that for the longest time like i would just cover up in cardigans all the time and i'm not here for it anymore not this summer we're doing fat hot girl summer okay we're not doing that um i'm letting my big old bertha's breathe so without a cardigan how do we make this work you know like maybe just a strapless but i feel like that would still kind of show so i think just maybe like a lighter colored bra i think that's how we're gonna have to get away with it because it's not like too crazy maybe pin it or something but yeah i do like it though like i feel like i'll keep this we just have to figure out what we're doing with these i kind of want to cut them off you let me know is that a terrible idea thanks for your contribution okay so i think i forgot to tell you guys the price of the yellow shirt it was 57.50 um this one i can't i can't see can we see yeah got nothing i'll wait till i take it off um so the other one was 57.50 the yellow shirt uh again don't pay full price i would never pay 60 dollars for that fucking shirt but 30 bucks eh, i don't know maybe it's, it still seems a bit high to me um this one i was really liking again i would it's a light color so it is a bit see-through i probably wear an undershirt or something but i don't understand this like wh what why is it like darker here like it almost looks like a manufacturer defect like i don't i don't really like that like i don't know what that's about but the pattern here is like purple and coral and it's like it's kind of pretty right like I don't know oh let me show you i know we were saying we weren't gonna hide our arms and we're not this is a choice okay especially like in the summer i don't i probably wouldn't wear this that often because it's hot as fuck 
but in the spring or fall or something like I don't have a cardigan that this color that is this color and this is my favorite color like a cream kind of color you know like I don't know about these two necessarily together but I'm just a sucker for cream cardigans like I kind of keep buying them and I shouldn't but I don't have one like this okay and on the website it said it was white this is not white toward like I don't know when I think white I think like very blue white like white white whereas this is cream this is beige you know this isn't white and I like it and how much was it I don't see I keep like putting the things on and then not being able to see the tag so I'm sorry um so this is $62.50 ow torrid okay so I paid like 30 bucks for this that's I mean they might have this for cheaper at Old Navy I can't even lie but Old Navy only goes up to 2x like an XXL I think and I don't fit into most of their stuff so this would probably be tighter on me whereas this is a is this a two I think I got this in a two yeah this is a two um but because I'm trying to lose weight and I don't want all my cardigans to be like too oversized and this still fits as a two as a two um so yeah I got this in a two instead of in a three a three would have worked just as fine um if you like cardigans because they're so stretchy you can kind of get away with a smaller size too because I have some of their cardigans in a three and like they stretch out too much like this is nice and soft so hopefully it wouldn't stretch out too much but like the elastic just wears out and it becomes too big and then like I'm left with like floppy sleeves sleeves <laughs> so I think this too is fine um but yeah so this one what did I say 60 bucks yeah 62.50 so over 30 bucks for a cardigan even at 50% off like who would pay 60 dollars for this I don't know not me let's see how much this is so that was uh 57.50 um okay seems a little bit high this is another t-shirt totally see-through uh 34.50 so like between 15 and 20 bucks is what i actually paid for it i don't love this i think this one will go back it's not like a i don't know it's too bright it's almost like a neon coral which isn't it's not bad but I expected it to be like a dusty rose kind of color and it's definitely more bright than that and it is see-through and I don't want to have to wear an undershirt all the time um like if I'm wearing like a lighter bra it might be fine but I still tend to wear like t-shirts with leggings so you're gonna be able to tell that like I've got my leggings pulled all the way up you know which I don't know I just don't really like that look so I feel like this is going back but it does fit fine I'm just not a huge fan of the color and the fact that it's see-through but I mean it's not bad I just like the other t-shirts that I got better and even then like I'm paying what like almost 20 bucks for a t-shirt um and I'm not in love with this one so I think this one will go back okay so the next item are these biker shorts okay so I would never ever wear these out in public except underneath the dress so these are perfect to wear under dresses when you don't want your legs to rub together and since I'm uh Caucasian these are great for me they kind of blend in and look like skin um, I think they come in other colors too so if you're of a darker skin tone you might be able to find something but look at the booty like I would not wear these out by themselves like these, they don't necessarily advertise these to be under clothing so it's a bit strange but they are nice and comfortable these are actually a size 2 they didn't have a size 3 or a size 4 so I got a 2 and decided to try them and they do fit fine um, but yeah no they're still super comfortable and I'm definitely gonna keep these and wear them under my um, dresses so that my chub rub isn't nearly as bad um, and I like that they're close to my skin tone so these are cute so the next thing that I got it's basically the last thing I just have a couple pairs of shoes is this swim dress and I don't like it <laughs> um so let me tell you why I don't like it like it doesn't look bad I like that it covers my thighs like I really wanted to try a swim dress because the other bathing suits that I have are all like full-on bikini you can see all the thighs so I really wanted to try like a dress or like a skirt bottom and this was really all that they had in stock um it's $125 Canadian so I ended up getting it for like 60 bucks but I still don't like it and I think it's mostly to do with the boobs like I feel like the boobs are squished there's no cup like the, I, the bikini that I have from them I think it has like an underwire or it like lifts more like I feel like the body of the swimsuit is too short for me so like I want my boobs to be like up here but the swimsuit is like dragging them down and then there's no padding so like there's just that weird pad but it's 
I don't know, I f they feel tight. Like, I just don't like how they look. Like, they're kind of, they're kind of flat. Like, they're not doing anything. Like, I don't know, I kind of like my bathing suits to be a little bit, like, hello. You know, the girls are here. Like, if this was, like, tight and lifted, and then we had, like, the bikini, or the dress bottom, I feel like that would be nicer. The pattern's not bad. But, I don't know, man, like, 60 bucks seems like too much for this. Like, I like the um, bikini that I got from Torrid last year more. I'm just thinking because, like, my birthday is tomorrow and I'm planning to go to Wet n Wild. And I was thinking maybe I would wear this. But, I don't know. I don't feel great in this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel sexy. Like, I feel like my boobs look kind of funny. Um, they don't look how I want them to look. So, I think this one's going back because it was sort of expensive and I like my other swimsuits more. So, why would I keep this? You know, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but what do you guys think? Like, do you get what I mean? Like about the boobs or is it not translating on camera? Like they just feel like squished to me. Like, I don't know. They're not doing what I want them to do. And I'm only 24. Okay. Like I want the boobs to look good. So I don't know. Okay guys. So these are the next item. Just a pair of flats. They're just plain black. They're kind of dirty because I've already been wearing them out of the house. Um, I get a size eight and a half and all of their shoes are wide. So these are pretty nice. I usually wear like a size nine. So like I could have sized up in these, but their sizing is so weird. Like I'll get a nine and then they'll be like massive. So I got these as an eight and a half and they actually fit pretty good. There's a little bit of toe room. Like I might've been able to go on up a size. I might've been able to go up a size. Sorry, but I think that they would have just been too big. So yeah, these are just nice, simple scrunch ballerina flats uh i wear flats with a lot of my dresses and i like that they're wide so yeah so the next ones i'm not gonna try on for you guys i don't know if you can really tell i feel like the lights maybe wash them out but these are like they're the same flats but they're supposed to be in like a taupe color but these are i feel like they're too dark like i wanted them to be beige oh sorry my rug is dirty af just ignore that okay so i wanted these to be beige they look more beige under like the lights but they're not really beige <laughs> like they're they're like a brown kind of a color like I don't I don't know they're darker than what I wanted them to be I don't know if I'm gonna keep them I I don't think I will just because they are a bit tight but I don't know what do you guys think they're kind of cute right but they're just darker than what I thought like I wanted them to be beige and they're definitely like dark taupe like they're almost like a gray brown and I don't know if that'll go with a lot of my outfits. I want them to be like beige. I keep saying that, but I don't know, like my curtains. Like my curtains are beige. These are darker. You know what I mean? Like I wanted them to be like my curtains. But they're they're just darker, so I don't think they'll go with my outfits as much. But yeah, let me know. Okay, so these are the next pairs uh pair pairs of shoes. Um they're just bunching funny here because of the like wire thing that's still on them um these are an eight and a half as well they're like loafers i think is what you call them um these are eight and a half wide i don't know how i feel about these like i like them but i'm just not sure what all they would go with but they're like completely black i don't know i'm no good at um recording my own feet but yeah let's pick them up now so they're completely black I think they're nice, right? Like, I could totally see myself wearing these. I just don't really know <laughs> with what. But, like, maybe some of the busy business here is... Fuck, that's not even a word. I am so tired at this point. Um, oh, you can see my laundry. <laughs> but this is... I don't know. They're more business here. But they're all black. They're really comfy. Um, nice and stretchy. So, I think I'll keep these ones. These... Oh, I'm so bad at telling you the price. Everything will be in the description anyway. But these were... 45.50 Canadian so 50 bucks um half price I got for 25 that seems like a good deal honestly and all their shoes are wide and hard to find anywhere else so yeah these are 25 bucks and then the ballerina flats um both these and the black ones are 37.50 so like 40 bucks so I got some for like 20 so a little bit cheaper but yeah okay so it's a different day and I look different and the lighting's shittier. But I found a few more items um, that I forgot to show you guys when I was filming last time. So I'm just doing that now. <laughs> so this is a pajama set. It is like a silk material. I don't have anything like this. It's a pair of shorts and a tank top. 
Um, I got this in a size 4 because I was kind of worried about it being um, like too tight. Like especially like silk. I didn't know if it was going to shrink or if it was going to hug me. Um, I definitely could have sized down into a 3 because it is um, sort of big. But I mean it's comfortable. It's just like there's a, a lot of room. Like this is with it tied. Um, so like without it tied like there's definitely like a lot of loosey goosey space in here so it's nice and comfortable um but like I could have sized down so like if you're interested oh no I lost the other the other side no why does this happen oh, okay we found it we're good <laughs> okay so yeah if you guys are thinking about getting this set you could probably stay like true to size um so yeah because I sized up and I didn't really have to but it's still comfortable I'm still gonna keep it um very comfy cozy I normally wouldn't wear it wear it with a bra probably because I'm going to sleep right um but yeah it's it's a little too big but it's definitely comfortable um I'll tell you guys what I paid for it on the screen I feel like it was like 50 bucks for both which I mean it's a lot for a pajama set but it is silk and I was kind of in the mindset of like treat yourself you know because it's like my birthday month so I don't know I think it's worth it just because I don't have anything like like this especially like a set so I like it what do you guys think also um I think when I filmed the last time I wasn't um tanned or burnt I went to wet and wild for my birthday so like my skin is kind of peeling and I'm more tan so just ignore that <laughs> okay the next two items that I got are bodysuits so I have this black one and I like it because it's got like thicker straps here whereas the white one that I got is um just spaghetti straps so these are just plain like simple black and white bodysuits I've never had a bodysuit before I got them both in a size four and I'm glad that I did um because this is like a little I don't know it's a little short in my opinion so like I'm glad that I sized up because it would probably be even shorter so this is size four uh 32.50 Canadian each one um but again I think I got like 50% off that or something um so I've already I haven't worn the white one yet but I wore this black one and I have a question okay so I like unclasped it when I had to pee but fat girls of the world how the fuck do you put these back on like I I was like digging under I was like sitting on the toilet trying to like put them back together like I was going like behind trying to put them back together like the little the little button things right like you know what I'm talking about like these little claspy things how how the hell as a fat woman do you put these back on or like do you just give up are you not meant to because what I ended up doing like I was in the bathroom at work the first time I wore it and I was like I cannot get these back on for the life of me but, but like my outfit is really cute so I literally ended up just like taking it back like I took it completely off um reclasped it and then put it back on again but like is there an easier way to do this like I don't know if I'm just like built fat and short so like weird like my arms are too short to like maneuver it but like let me guy, let me know guys like do you have like a secret like how do you do these or like do you struggle with it too and I'm not like alone and completely oblivious but yeah let me know um these bodysuits are pretty cute um ignore like all the cellulite and shit but I mean it does what it's supposed to do with some like pants or whatever like I think it's cute right bodysuits are like really in right now and I've never had one so the fat girls get to enjoy the bodysuits too you know <laughs> okay so the next few items that I'm going to show you guys are actually from Walmart and not from Torrid but I think that they're cute so I wanted to mention them okay so this one here it's just like a simple dress like I would kind of call it like a t-shirt dress because of how like flowy it is like there's no real shape to it or anything um but I kind of like it like I at first I was like I don't know it really doesn't do anything for my body but it's really comfortable like it's just lightweight kind of cottony material I do notice that like this black sort of material is collecting a lot of lint um so I feel like I'll have to like do that trick where you like shave it so that it doesn't look like a faded black anymore but the dress itself is really comfortable I only paid 20 Canadian dollars for this dress 20 dollars 20 dollars okay and I think it's well worth it I mean even if you didn't like wearing a dress that has no shape to it I was thinking I could wear it as like a cover-up over my bathing suit um and that's what I did for my birthday when I went to wet and wild I just wore this over top of my bathing suit for most of the day and it was super comfortable but I would even wear this out like who cares it's super comfortable you could belt it if you wanted to I felt like the belt that I belted it with didn't really look nice but I think even by itself like it's cute it's patterned it's not like too unshapely you know and for 20 bucks like you could even wear it as a house dress like fuck who cares I like it man and it's nice and like floral 
but like colorful and like, I don't know. I like it for 20 bucks. Fuck yeah. You know, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I forgot to mention too about the dress that I got it in a size 4X. This on the other hand, <laughs> if it looks familiar, it's because it's the exact same dress pattern, but I got it in a shirt. It was $15 and I got it in a size 3X. So it's same thing, like oversized, comfy, not too fitted. Um, same pattern. I feel like for $5 less than the dress, it's not bad. I would have preferred it to be like 10 since it's like half the material, but you know, I can't be too mad. It is nice and comfy. Um, same sort of problem with like the fact that I'll probably have to shave it, but that's really not a big deal considering it's from Walmart. Um, again, it's just nice and comfy. Like when I don't feel like doing anything, I can just throw this on. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention, I'm just wearing it with these Lululemon leggings. I don't think I've talked to you guys about them before. Lulu used to only go up to a size 12 and they recently expanded their sizes to go all the way up to a 24. So I'm normally a size 24 and I'm wearing a 24 in these. This is what I ordered, but I feel like I could even size down because I do find that they kind of slip off a lot. Like they're a bit, just like a little bit too big. So I would recommend either, like you could go true to size, but I would recommend if you're looking into Lulu's to go a size down just because I feel like um, they are really generous, which is good. That means if you're like a size 26, you could um, you could still fit into Lulu's, maybe even a 28, I don't know. Um, but I do find that these are like nice and forgiving. And I used to wear Lulu's all the time and then I stopped when I started getting heavier. But I stopped wearing them because they only went up to a size 12. So now that they go into plus sizes, it's nice. Um, I just need to get another pair in like a smaller size because like I said, these like fall off all the time. But they're nice and comfy and I just wear them with like flowy shit like this. So yeah, one more Walmart shirt and then I have a couple things to show you from Winners. Okay, same kind of vibe with this shirt. It's very similar. It's just the pattern is like more purple instead of like blue and pink. It's purple and pink. Um, it's again a size three. It was $15. There is a difference with this one. There's like a cutout pattern in the back that the other one didn't have. So it's cool, it's whatever, I don't really care. I wear my hair down most of the time anyways. But I do like that it's purple. Um, I've gotten quite a few compliments on this shirt and it is just comfy, you know? Like instead of throwing on like a plain t-shirt, this can be dressed up a little bit or it could be dressed down, whatever. Like just with leggings, it looks like a regular t-shirt, but with like a cardigan and like some boots or some jewelry or something, I feel like it could be dressed up. So, you know, for 15 bucks, like, not bad, man, and super comfy. Like, I could just, like, hang around the house in this, especially if you're, like, working from home or whatever, but you still want to get dressed. These are, like, really nice options, you know, and affordable, so. Okay, next item is this shirt that I got from Winners. I'm just wearing it with, like, a black undershirt because it is kind of see-through. Um, I don't usually own a lot of white, but I saw this at Winners for 20 bucks, size 3X. It's, I don't know if you can tell either. It's got, like, little shimmers all over it. Maybe you can tell, I don't know. So it's like shimmery. Um, it's got this like little fraying at the bottom. So I like this shirt. Um, really into like the weird t-shirts that you can like dress up or dress down. Um, I like that it's like comfortable material. You can't really feel the um, sequins that are on it. Um, the one thing I will say, this neckline, like I really don't understand what's going on with it. Like I wish that this like frayed shit just wasn't there. Like I wish it was just like, normal like tucked in I guess like I could probably sew that or something like if I knew how like just cut this shit off but I just find it's like strange that it's there to begin with um but the shirt other than that is cute I worn it once um and I got some compliments on it so I don't know I like it it's just plain I feel like 20 bucks is like okay for this because it is like sequency material um but yeah it's just like a t-shirt at the end of the day what do you guys think? Okay, and then last item for real is this shirt from Winners. I think this is definitely more fancier. I don't know why the two shirts that I got are like both kind of white. Um, got a lot of floral shit too. I guess that's my vibe now. I'm like a grandma, whatever. Um, but I feel like it looks kind of cute. Um, I will say this is also a three and you can probably tell it's like pretty tight um, around like my belly area. Like I can get it down but I, it's definitely like sucking me a little bit, sucking me in a little bit. Um, it's not tight on the boobs or on the arms though, which is nice. And this was on clearance for only $15. Um, and since I am trying to like lose weight over the next year, I feel like I didn't want to get pieces that were like 
too oversized like I want to be able to wear them while I lose the weight and this is something like since it's tight now hopefully losing weight will only make me like it more you know it'll be like less fitted but I could still wear this I don't know how sitting would work like sitting would probably be a little uncomfy <laughs> but again it's like it's not bad like it's not like too tight where I'm uncomfortable it's just more fitted than like the loose stuff I was wearing right um but I do think it's cute again this is just with like regular schmegler lulu leggings um but you could dress it up with like a cardigan have my hair and makeup done you know um but yeah no i think it's cute you know floral is my thing now okay guys so that basically concludes this video um thank you guys so much for watching i am sorry that i am a sweaty mess um but yeah if you like these hauls then subscribe to my channel i do them quite often i do a little bit of makeup but mostly it's hauls you know it's mostly clothes so yeah if you like me you can subscribe you cannot subscribe but i'll see you in my next video <laughs> bye guys